All right, all right. Hey, family. Um, we up here chilling. And uh, yes, yes. And we come today with some a little bit of sad news. Um, my king, my husband, my God, Brother Panic, he's crossed over. So we sit and chilling here tonight, celebrating a beautiful brother. Some knew him as Panic. Some knew him as Brother Panic. Some knew him as an author, a lecturer, a producer, an occultist, a grandmaster, a grandmaster teacher. To me, he was also my baby, my great love, my best friend, my companion, my old man, my husband, my soulmate. Brother Panic, how do you describe him? <laughs> this is a man that when he spoke, he changed the lives of many. I will do my best tonight to describe such a great man. The best word to describe him is brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. All right, y'all, I'll do my best to uh, describe a great man. The best word to describe Brother Panic is uh, his brilliance. Such brilliance in his teaching, brilliance in his delivery, brilliance in how he could take a complex topic or subject and break it down in parts that made it so much easier for people to understand. So we honor my brother, my, my man, my God, my King, Brother Panic, as we all celebrate with y'all and now reach out to y'all and let you know that he's, he transitioned without no foul play. He transitioned, there's no agents involved, there's no CIA, no Illuminati, no FBI. The portal started to open for him, we saw it. He transitioned, he passed through, no foul play. So we can all have a lot of peace of mind with that. And uh, mm. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you know, it was uh, the first time I talked to Penny. We uh, we talked on the phone for like nine hours, <laughs> and. <laughs> It was from like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. to like 6 in the morning. And, you know, we immediately became family. You know what I mean? Everybody with us, you yes. know, um, has treated me like family. And, you know, they always say it's a family you're born with and a family you choose. Mm. And, Definitely. you know, when whenever you connect with somebody like that, instantly, you know that that speaks volumes, man. Like it speaks. Uh, that's that's some shit that's beyond time. I used to always tell Penny, I'm like, bro, you, you bend time and space when you talk, bro. Because you're like, <laughs> <laughs> how are you talking for yeah. so long and it don't feel like it's been that long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yep. yeah, man, we can all vouch for that one. <laughs> yeah. And and I I think you know before before Penny crossed over, I you know I was. I used to, I used to wonder about de death a lot, and, and you know, I was kind of skeptical on how how connected are we to our ancestors and our, our loved ones on the other side. And and when he crossed over, man, his his energy and his spirit came through even stronger. And it's like I could, it's like I commun I could communicate with him more. Um, and and that was it was a sign, you know what I mean? It's a and, and it, it continues, you know, it, it, it doesn't stop. You know, we always talk about connecting with our ancestors and, um, you know, and, and libations and all of this. And that motherfucker proved it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It. He, oh, he, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, and, and in a strong way, man. And um, he will always be in our hearts, in our DNA, and in our souls, and will always be connected. Definitely. So we want y'all to come join us and come celebrate with us. We're going to have an event for Brother Panic, the Portals of Pan crossover celebration. It will happen uh, next month, uh, November 25th, Saturday, November 25th. 
uh, we will send the details to y'all. You will see it in this video as well. But uh, everybody come, you know, dressed all in black. Um, you can uh, wear all black and uh, Emma Grove, Emma, excuse me, <laughs> Emma Green um, accents. You can wear Emma Green or gold accents if you like, but definitely make sure it's all black attire. And uh, we all gonna bring in Brother Panic and uh, celebrate together. And I want everybody to remember something. I know this is a time of uh, we lost a great master teacher in the physical, but as you know, as Bob is speaking, we we still got more of him now. He's extremely powerful in the spiritual. We have been seeing him dramatically doing his thing, and he has been uh, teaching. He's still teaching on the other side. He's still healing, um, and he's just a powerful entity. So I miss him like crazy in the physical. But I definitely still chat with them, talk to them, communicate with them. Everything is still lovely on that front. But of course, he's missed in, in the, the physical. And, yeah, that's how I paint a bag story. That's how I met Brother Panic through the, the Panic Pack. You know, and uh, we started our love affair in 2009. And a lot of y'all that listen to, to my to my old man, Panic, y'all know uh, our love story. So I don't want to go into it deep. I don't know if you want to share yours. But <laughs> everybody pretty much knows, you know, our love story. And that's definitely what it was. Uh, 15 years with that man. And uh, he'll be missed in the physical. But me and him, we will definitely continue our journey. Um, and my, my panic pack story is, uh, and I got my, my wife, my queen in the room, she can attest to this, uh, uh, well, I wanted to order a panic pack. I wanted to order a panic pack for me and my wife, and he was, you know, he was like, Bob, your money's no good here. And so he just sent it to, to me, <laughs> he just sent it to me. And, um, when we got the package, <clears throat> Uh, Tiffany, uh, she grabbed, she grabbed it out the thing, and she was like, "Woo!" Like, like a, a, a shot or a jolt or something went through her hand, uh, and I was like, I looked at her like, she playing like, oh, let me. <laughs> and so I go over and touch it, and as soon as I touch it, it's like a a, a bubble of like light or awareness just like opened up, and I was like, "Yo!" I'm like, "Yo!" He really felt the spirit. Yeah, like he he really put. He really knew how to put his spirit and his energy into things, into what he did. Always. And and I remember him always saying, like, you know, before I do these pegs, like I gotta be in the right space and put the right energy on it. And and you know, now that you know he's not bound by a physical body, the power mm -hmm. level is is colossal. It's, and yeah. It's beyond words. It's exquisite. It's yeah. exquisite. So you know, y'all, we don't, you know, we just chilling tonight. We started, we decided to, to reach out to y'all and, you know, tell you the news. And uh, we all going to celebrate. So, Pan, the portals of Pan, crossover celebration, we all going to get together. Uh, all the information will be, is on this video. And come out and celebrate. But before we go, there's one thing I want to say to some people that got to understand how, uh, Death works for us, for us family, how it works for us. And uh, I remember when I was a young girl, my grandmother, <laughs> I asked her, I said, grandmother, why do we celebrate? Why do we celebrate death? Because every every time our family members would pass, we celebrate. And I had other friends and folks in the neighborhood that their, their services or their funerals or whatever they were doing was different. So she told me something that I never forgot. And uh, what she said was, when we come here, we come here to learn what we come to learn. We experience what we come to experience. And then when it's time to go, it's time to go. And when we go, we're either going to another life, you know, whether we want to, uh, you know, whether folks are into reincarnation or not. But we, we leave this plane and go to another plane or we go to another life or we go to that place people call home or heaven. It was some folks will call it. So Panic, when he passed, he was a master teacher, and he was also a master in talking about 
the transformation of death. And so he definitely <laughs> transcended and went beyond. And he knew where he was going when he died. So this is why we celebrate. We celebrate that they are done here and they're moving on. So whether they decide to return to this realm, hey, cool. Or whether they decide to go to other planes, hey, cool. Or whether they decide to go to that place we like to call heaven home or the source of where we all come from. So this is, you know, again, we all gonna celebrate together and we are gonna honor a great man that left mad knowledge and changed lives. He definitely changed everybody's lives in here that are with us tonight and here in this household. Uh, everyone has a story in how he changed our lives. He definitely changed my life and brought wealth and spirit and wealth and, and just being in, just together. So come on down, y'all. We'd love to have you. And uh, we'll see you soon. November 25th. November 25th. Peace out, family. Peace. And shout out to Brother Pan, man. Shout out to him for being a real general. A real man, a real a man of leisure, a man of structure, you know what I'm saying? He won't everything he do, he come through and elevate whatever the situation may be. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So see That's right. Let's so. celebrate that. Paris. We will celebrate Parific! <laughs> Parific! Parific! There is nothing I can do for you but become a clue for you. It's about upping your frequency. About a thousand niggas say, you want them herb packs with you, nigga? <laughs> That's the spirit talk. Come on, get you a panic pack. You need that. The yeah. results are remarkable. People yeah. are doing the moonwalk to work and all sorts of shit now. Uh, yes, sir. It, it was funny. The Belladonna thing, it seemed like it took 24 hours for us to work. But after that happened, uh -huh. that was the first time I ever flew and I was cool with it. Another Festivus miracle. <laughs> <laughs> the herb pack because that it, it, it shuts down the other so it focuses the pineal so the pineal has no choice but to start moving